Hey folks, Chris here. So this is my Pond Prowler 8 fishing boat. I've had this thing for about a year now and I've taken several fishing trips in it and I wanted to revisit my review of the boat and also share some of the upgrades and modifications I've done to it in case any of you guys are looking at one of these for yourself. The boat itself measures 8 feet 7 inches long and it's 48 inches wide. It fits perfect into the bed of a full size pickup truck and that's actually the way I started out transporting it before I decided to trailer it. When it's empty and doesn't have the seat or anything in it, the boat itself weighs about 100 pounds and the capacity rating on it is 515 pounds. The Pond Prowler 8 comes with one of these swivel seats and this thing turned out to actually be really nice. I was honestly surprised with how comfortable this thing was. It's got some padding on the back and the bottom of it and it allows you to spin around and get to both the front and the back of the boat. But you can sit in this thing for several hours and it won't hurt your back or your legs. The good thing about these boats is too is they're extremely stable so you can stand up and fish or move around in the boat with no problem at all so you can mix between standing and sitting and you're sure to be comfortable throughout the day. Another neat feature that came with the boat that I really like is that it came pre-wired for a trolling motor so if you're like me and you want to put your trolling motor on the front of the boat and you want to have your battery in the rear so you can balance the weight you've got a little adapter that came with it that you just have to wire into and then you can set your battery back here behind you. The biggest and probably my favorite upgrade that I've done to the boat so far was adding an outboard motor to the back of it. This is the Honda BFD2 and it's a two horsepower four stroke engine. This little thing just weighs 30 pounds so it's super easy to pick it up and move it around and while you could probably transport the boat with it attached to it because there's a little metal plate on the transom to try to you know add some extra protection i just didn't feel comfortable having that thing bouncing around back there didn't want to risk damaging the boat or the motor itself so i built this little makeshift motor mount out of some two by six boards and i just set it up in the bed of my truck and ratchet strap it against the cab to make sure it's nice and secure now this little motor isn't going to break any speed records of course because it's only two horses but it'll push this boat with me and all my gear in it at about five or six miles per hour depending on the water current and the wind that day. It's got a one liter fuel tank in it and great fuel economy. This thing's rated to run for about an hour on one tank or one liter of fuel. The trolling motor that I added to the front of the boat is a Minn Kota Endura 34 pound thrust. It's got a battery meter on it to kind of help you keep track of how much battery you do have left. And it's also got a telescope and handle with five forward speeds and three reverse speeds. And this thing will push the boat at about three or four miles an hour by itself if you need to. But one of the great things about having the outboard is that it's allowed me to only use the trolling motor battery when I actually want to troll or when I want to sneak up into a cove and try to slip in on some fish. So I can fish all day long and conserve my battery because most of the water I cover is with the little Honda. I found these 3M adhesive mounts that are actually made to hold broom handles, but turns out they hold fishing rods just as well. So I put one of these on each side of the boat to keep my rods up nice and neat. I built this little wooden platform for the front that'll hold my anchor, a measuring board so I can check the length of some of the fish I catch, and it'll also hold my tackle bag. This larger wooden platform that I built for the back holds an extra fuel canister, my fishing net, a camera mount, and also an umbrella for when I'm out there fishing on rainy days. Another item I mounted back here is a Garmin Striker 4 fish finder and I added this Scotty adjustable arm for the transducer that I can raise and lower on the side of the boat when I'm ready to take it in and out of the water. To power the Garmin, I've got a little 12 volt lithium battery tucked away inside an ammo canister down underneath this platform. There's also room under here for the 12 volt battery for my trolling motor and then just enough room in the middle to tuck away a first aid kit. Depending on the time of the year, I might be out fishing before the sun comes up and it's still dark out. So I picked up these LED battery powered lights that I can put around the boat to sort of serve as some makeshift navigation lights. They came with a white, a red, and a green light and they both flash and have solid lighting. I picked these up at Walmart as well. One of the most helpful things I've added to this boat is also this anchor pulley that I picked up at Walmart for around seven bucks. This allows me to pull the anchor up or drop it down when I'm sitting in the back of the boat and I only got to use one hand to do so. 
I think that pretty much covers most of the modifications that I've done to the boat so far and my overall thoughts after having it for a year and taking it out on the water several times is I absolutely love this thing. I've had so much fun getting out and getting to some new spots and being able to get on some fish with it. So if you're thinking about one of these Bass Pro Pond Prowlers or a Bass Raider or one of those Bass Baby Boats, they're all kind of similar in size and shape, I suggest you look into it because they are a ton of fun. I hope you find this video helpful, and if you have any questions or would like some more specific info on the boat, feel free to leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. As always, I certainly appreciate you watching. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. Hope you have a great day, and we'll catch you next time.